Well for this tutorial I'm going to be looking at the iMovie package. This will be a simple importing some footage into the package, doing a little bit of simple editing, cut and tailing the footage and then saving it to either your computer or publishing it to a website such as YouTube. So to start off with we're going to create a new event. Now this is your event section down here. This is basically all of the files where all the footage that you import is kept. It's just to organize the uh, the footage. So let's create a new one for this. So we'll do file new event. We'll call this one Christmas footage. Enter and that is saved. So here it is blank but this is where the footage will appear. So now we need to import the piece of footage that we want to work with. So if we do file, import, and this is one I created a few moments ago. If you're importing some footage from, say, a phone, you need to download the footage from the phone onto your computer first. Save it into a folder that you can remember and then when you import it from iMovies you select that uh, that file to then import into this package. So there you go. This is what I've just imported here. If you scroll across it you can see the footage and if you go slowly you can hear the audio. So we want to move this up to the project at the top here. To do that, all we do is select what we want to move. We could select just the first few bars. We could select it all. It entirely depends what you want to do. So to select it, just move your cursor over to the front and click the pad and then drag your finger along. So we'll select it all come back and then click on it again and then drag it up to the project area. So you know in the project area, if we play it, it will explain what we can see from the footage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that just continues through the entire section. Now we could cut, we could top and tail this. So for the first few seconds, there's nothing there at all. So let's just get rid of that. So again, you put the cursor as to where you want to um, start the crop. Click on the button, move it all across. And just keep going for as long as you want. So, do it before I say one. So right there. And we do edit, cut. And it's gone. So now it should come straight in with me saying one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Done. And then if you want to do the same for the bottom, you can. Now if you want to play just that section, if you click control and then click on your button and then you can do play. Okay, so there's not much going on there either. So let's do the same and crop there. So probably about there. Click your button and then over, edit, cut. So we've done a simple editing procedure there by cutting the front. You may want to put in a title shot at the front of the screen, so we'll go ahead now and do that. So this is using this section here. And we will, let's go, so we want to add some text, let's do that one. And we will, let's do that one. So click on that one, drag it up to where you want it to be in the actual project. Let's go with a nice colourful one. Let's go with that one. Okay, so that's added a screen. If we click over here, we can change the text. Uh, loose, no. This tutorial. Done. Okay, so now if we press the play button here, we can see what we've created. 
One, two, three, four, five. So we're starting to merge. If we want to kind of add a transition into this section here, so that it just connects a bit more smoothly, we go back over here. We click on that. I normally use this one, the very first one. So now let's play it and you can see it phase in. It's very subtle, but it just phases in there. You can you can change uh, you can change the settings and times by doing um, I think it's one no it's the bottom and transition adjustment C. So at the moment it's five seconds. You can increase that depending on what you want. Let's just get rid of that bit. Okay, so we've got your title, your clip with your audio. Let's just say that's done. So we want to save this and upload it to YouTube. Now if I was uploading it to YouTube, I would click on share, click on YouTube, and then you put in all your account details and password, all your keywords, etc. Always make sure you untick this here, otherwise only you will be able to see the video, which might be a little bit pointless, unless it's what you want to do. So make sure that is unticked. Put in all your details, click next and it will automatically start publishing to YouTube for you. If you don't want to publish it to YouTube and you want to save it on your computer, just do share again and click on export movie. I'll give you a few options, give it a title, save it in whatever format you want to. Obviously the better, uh, the better you choose here, the better option, the larger the file is going to be so sometimes you don't get the option but here you do I think YouTube you can only save it as that but there you go and that will save it to your computer when you do export and that is it